All right, Aries, what's good? All right, so um, I have something new that I'm implementing on my other social medias, but I want to give y'all a little taste of it right now, okay? We're going to be jumping into your fortune. Now, I have a jar that's filled with all these little different numbers, but I pulled some before the video, so I'm going to choose one now. They all face down, and then I'm going to pull from your jar. So you got number five, all right? So then you would get jar five right here. You know what I'm saying? Five and five. And this is your fortune. All right, you got favor. Something behind the scenes just shifted in your favor. Expect a manifestation of epic proportions. Believe that you have what you want now and it will soon be your reality. All right, so that's what we're working with. That's the vibe right now. That's what we're working with for this reading. So we're going to be jumping into the aspect of favor. We're going to be jumping into the aspects of things behind the scenes have been working for you, even though you couldn't see them. All right. And in believing, okay, let's step that faith game up, right? No room for doubt, no room for worry, and no room for the OPP. That means other people's opinion, okay? So we are going to start now at the center of the reading. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Now, your people, Sagittarius, they got the same card. It's time to step off the spaceship, okay? When this person leaves that spaceship, they're going to walk onto a brand new planet that they've never been on before. It's scary. It's okay. You've, you've lived before. You've, been, you've, you've inhibited a planet before. You can go surmount another one, right? And so this is what this is. So you're, something is happening. You're stepping into the unknown. But what you don't know is just beyond those doors, before the doors open, something already shifted in your favor. It's kind of like God went before you and prepared something and had it already made, but didn't tell you yet, okay? You moved to another country because the job needs you out there in that other country. And you're like, well, I'm going to live, how I'm going to eat. And then you get out there, oh, we didn't tell you? We made accommodations for all of that. Yeah, for the next year, you don't have to worry about food, housing, none of that, clothing. You know, it's something big like that, though. That's why it's called favor, okay? Let's see what it's crossed by. Nine of Swords, your people. Sagittarius got the same car, y'all on the same vibe. This, you're going into an unknown. And I know, oh my God, Sagittarius, I know that's so scary. I mean, I'm sorry, not Sagittarius, Aries. I know that is scary, very scary to step into the unknown. I mean, a whole nother planet, a whole nother realm, you tapping into something or believing in something that you never have before, that's scary. Some of y'all going to school for the first time, some of y'all going, starting something new for the first time, and it could be. But what I was telling Sagittarius with the same card is that all of a lot of what you're thinking is not gonna happen. You got favor this time. You got things working behind the scenes that you don't even know about, right? That's maybe something you want to continuously say to yourself over this next season. Things are constantly working in my favor. Things behind the scenes are shifting in my favor, whether I can see them or not. Something just worked out for me. Ping. Yep, there it is. You know what I mean? That's what you got to keep your mind at, okay, as you're walking into this unknown territory. But please understand, God went before you and set something up. Let's see what's at the deep root of it. Oh, my God. The tower. Let it fall. Let it go. Let it fall. Let it go. Let it fall. Let it go. Surrender. You can surrender. I kept getting um, earlier because I was in my meditation, my vibes, trying to get in tune, make sure that I'm good. Um, surrendering. Right? Surrendering. And surrendering in love. Surrendering to love. Right? Love makes a lot of things okay. In fact, love sometimes is what causes the tower. I mean, the tower could be pride. The tower could be ego. The tower could be all the things that didn't work out before. Memories of the past. The tower could be trauma. Let it fall. Let it burn. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that's not for you is not coming into this next season. Remember, favor. Something just shifted in your favor. Something may have happened somewhere else. And they're like, oh, no, now we need you, and boom, you getting paid. Or you didn't want to go somewhere. You didn't want to do something. And all of a sudden, the things didn't work out, and all of a sudden, ah. You remember we said you got to do that? Well, you don't got to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But something has shifted in your favor. And I'm feeling like this tower has a lot to do with, like, something else, with the, with the thing that shifted in your favor. 
Something had to come crashing down in order for you to get that position or for you to move up in some type of rank, okay? And for some of you guys, this is what's got you with the nine of swords. Like you was like, okay, wait, I thought this, but this is, wow. Like life threw a monkey wrench, right? So let's see, let's get more into it. Let's get some more information about it. What happened in the recent past? The queen of cups, okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. I'm hearing nest, nesting, nesting. You got comfortable, that's what I'm getting nurturing, loving, or you, you started surrounding. Remember I was just saying uh, you surrender to like love and let love come in and love let, lets everything feel better, okay? So it's like more love in the relationships. You may have started really like pouring into your relationships, pouring into your children, pouring into your family, pouring into your home, pouring into your career, pouring into all the things that you love. That was a collective reading. All the things you love. And I was saying in a collective reading, it's like as soon as you get comfortable, as soon as you put your head on a the pillow, then boom, here comes this tower. And life is like throwing a monkey wrench. So things were peaceful. Things were calm. But you want to know what's interesting? You learn how to regulate your emotions. You are not emotionally reactive. And that's helping you to make really, really good decisions. You made a lot of really good decisions. And I'm even getting to tell you this tower is not your fault. The tower is for your making. It's for your betterment in the future. Okay. There's something happening in the future that you can't see yet, but this tower is what's helping you have a better future, a better outcome. Okay. It's putting you in a really good position. In other words, the tower is putting you in a real good position because you're going to start thinking of things and doing things that you ain't never done before. Okay. And remember you got that favor pouring all over you. Let's see what's in the headspace. The seven of wands, because you got that favor pouring all over you. Now, in this deck, she is standing up tall after towers. People doubted her. They said she'd never make it. Oh, you don't have what it takes. And now here she is sitting on her boat and her two other boats behind her. And guess what? She's on a whole nother planet. Okay, so this is victory. This is overcoming all the odds. You overcame a lot of odds. I mean, feeling like you shouldn't know, or maybe from the outside looking in, you shouldn't even get what you get or have what you have. But people don't even understand what's at your core. This is why you attract and bring in what you bring in. But there may be people who look and say, you know what, you don't even deserve that. Or the stuff that you get, it's like, boy, I don't understand how you got that. But again, it's the favor, right? People not going to understand but you will be in that position. Remember, I kept saying you're being set up now. This tower is setting you up now so that in the future you can be in a really good position. Okay. So whatever you're stressed about right now, whatever you're fearing right now, please know and understand that you're in a good position. Oh my God, it's the tower. Things came crumbling down. It doesn't look good. I don't feel good. Okay. That's going to change. I'm telling you, like, um, I had a, I had a really nice view. I was looking out and, um, and there was, uh, other sky rises. That what you call them? High rises. They were facing that direction. But the view of the entire city, I could see, but they were looking in the opposite direction. I'm like, man, they don't even see that view. They're right there, but they can't even see that view. And so this is what it is with you. It's like, you can look out and see something that maybe someone in a different position can't. This card jumps out for the near future and it is the judgment card. So you make it to the pearly gates. You're being evaluated. And something, or maybe a place you didn't think you would get access to, or maybe you thought this tower disqualified you. It's like the gates are going to open. It's like you, you make it to some type of heaven on earth, some type of personal euphoria. And the crazy thing about it is a lot of things that are unfolding for you are nearest and dearest to your heart. So again, it's not for everybody to understand. It's not for everybody else to indulge and be happy in. It's for your own personal individual joy. Okay. Now with this judgment card as well, this is you being revived. Okay. Revitalized something in you. It's like leaping for joy from the inside, from going from the nine of wands and not really like sure. It's like the unknown. I don't know where I'm going to the gates opening up and you being really happy with where you are, where you ended up. Okay. Yep. 
And then you get to decide who comes in. Okay, it's victory. And this too, this angel is screaming to me like your personal angel. Like, and this is where a lot of the favor resides. Okay, let's see what it is that you fear. What's coming up? How can we banish some fears right now? Oh, the six of wands. Now this is public victory. This is standing on business. In this deck, this young woman, she is the first woman to have her movies play intergalactically. Okay, so all over the galaxy, her movies show, right? Now, it's interesting because in this deck, there are a bunch of people who are behind her, right? But then there are a bunch of people who are in front of her. The people behind her represent all the people who can kiss her ass, okay? So as you are moving forward into the unknown, making choices and decisions that may not be popular, when it's time for you to stand and accept your awards and give your speech, it's going to be a whole a lot of people behind you wishing they were not in that position okay so the fear may be that somebody's gonna end up in the in the behind you position okay or you fear you may never get to this position where you'll never get to have your things uh victorious publicly right um and it's not about Oh, you need recognition and hand claps and stuff. It's just that you have been putting in some work, right? And it's nothing wrong with wanting your work, your life's work, your mission, your purpose energy to be recognized. And hers is recognized all over the galaxies, right? So this is also a public success. Remember I was talking about this favor? You may fear the spotlight. Because with this favor, it may come, because remember I was saying behind the scenes, something shifted in your favor? Well, this may, whatever going on behind the scenes may put you in the spotlight, whether you was trying to be or not. Let's see what you look like during this time. How are you coming across? The page of swords. See, you sneaky. And, and it's interesting because you were just probably all in your own head or trying to figure things out. So maybe you got quiet. Maybe God was giving you intuitive downloads. Maybe you were just in a season of trying to figure yourself out and figure out how you was going to become victorious and stand in your power. And that's what makes you mysterious because it's like, hmm, why you get quiet? So anyway, the Page of Swords is all about, you know, finding that information. I got to find out what's going on. So either you got people looking in on you or you've been doing some investigations of your own. Maybe you're looking behind the scenes trying to see, well, what's exactly working in my favor? Okay, so you look a little, um, a little sneaky, a little mysterious. Maybe things happen and you didn't say anything, but whoosh, here it is. Okay, well, this card wants to jump out. This came up in Sagittarius reading, but this is you, yeah. It may be people looking in on you because that energy here, you it's like you've graduated in a sense. You got the king energy or the queen energy. People are looking in on that. It's like, what what gives? What gives? Okay, but it's the favor. It's it's the tower. It's like, whoa. I'm almost seeing it like if something, if like some bad news came, people wonder how, well, how you taking it? Well, how well, how did that tower affect you and you're not giving answers but when you pop out that's the answer right so let's see how what's what's the hope where should your mind be at okay where should your mind be at during this time the knight of swords crossing t's dotting eyes there's some type of investigation going on. It's something lurking beneath the surface. And again, it goes back to your fortune. Something behind the scenes just shifted in your favor. You see how he's sitting there crunching down on detailed information on them computers. Okay, the swords is all about that truth, right? And this person is really going in. It's like something, it could even be something like you are owed some money, Right, there's an inheritance and this person has been tracking you down for years and here you are sitting here worried, don't know what's about to happen. This again is that energy. Something is already done for you. Something has already been put in the computer. Something has already been accepted or approved. You just ain't heard about it yet. And in the midst of you waiting to hear some news that you don't even know is coming, you may be a little like, I don't know. 
But then again, you might have really good high hopes. Okay, let's see a potential outcome. Now, as I was telling Sagittarius, there are thousands of different outcomes. But let's just see what path you're on right now. The strength card. Man, you and Sagittarius, y'all got a lot of the same energy, okay? And I've been shuffling these cards. But this is the strength card. You're about to be real confident. Whatever's working behind the scenes in your favor, you it's about to make you real confident. It's like nobody gonna be able to tell you nothing, okay? Especially your own fearful mind or thoughts or, uh, you know, the things that you thought was gonna happen. It's like all of that is gonna be dispelled and you're gonna stand in victory, right? Now, this eight, um, this strength card, that lion is unleashed, right? Which means he can run wild if he want to. And that's the energy. It's like, you're about to have, it's like, you're going to be humble and all that kind of stuff, but you're about to have a reason to go wild. Wow. With praising God. Wow. With going out there, being confident and showing off your gift, your skills, your talent, you're about to go wild. You are unleashed. There hasn't been a time to fall back and be humble and kind of do things on the low or, you know, even a time just being quiet because you couldn't figure it out. But then there's a time when you know for sure what it is and you roar like a lion. And that's what's coming up for you, okay? That's the outcome of all of this, okay? Something behind the scenes is working in your favor and it's about to change your reality, all right? Have faith, believe, and watch things happen. Bottom of the deck, ooh, mm, ooh la la. Love is in the air. That's the two of cups, okay? This um, young lady, she knows for sure she's romantically interested in this person, this person, he's romantically interested in her, but he's trying to play it cool. His heart is racing. He all nervous and stuff. His palms are sweating. He don't want to show it, though. He want to be confident. And he want to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm the lion. Hear me roar, right? And so he's just trying to play it cool, you know? But either way it go, it's a connection. It's a mutual connection. So whether it be business, whether it's family love, or it's actually romance, things get deep, okay? Love and romance is there. Remember I was saying, like, love makes things better. Like, even these towers, this love that you have that's coming or is here right now, it's going to help to cover all of this. And it may even be love working in your favor that gives you that confidence to do whatever it is you have to do, okay? So, that's what I get for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I will be doing the Zodiac, so make sure that you guys are liking, subscribing, sharing, and engaging with the content so that your numbers can be up there so that I know you like these readings, all right? So, thank you so much. Once again, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video.